So we're going to test out that knowledge by having you submit via the interpreter as a quiz some parsing rules that are going to handle a real part of JavaScript. Now, a lot like Python, JavaScript allows function calls. You write out the name of your function, and then you just pass in some number of arguments, possibly none. For that particular function, we would want the parse tree to be a tuple. That's how we're representing parse trees. The first part is call, telling us that it's a call expression. The next part is the name of the function. And then there's a list of all of the arguments. And this list may be empty if there are no arguments, or it may contain expression parse trees. And in fact, I'll do the first and second parts for you. Here's a rule for making expressions that are function calls. That's an identifier, like my fun, followed by a left parenthesis, followed by some optional arguments, followed by a right parenthesis. And we just build up our parse tree out of a tuple, the word call, the identifier, that's position 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. And the optional arguments are position 3. I definitely need the p there. There we go. Similarly, our rule for expressions that could be numbers, expression can become a number, at which point I just make up this tuple number followed by the actual value. And that's how we got things like this for number 11. So here's the quiz. I'd like you to fill in the value for parsing optional arguments, and you may find that you have to define a few more of these parsing rules, maybe some for there being no arguments, some for there being at least one, that kind of thing. Try it out.